Welcome to Lesson 3D of ATC Pro. This lesson will explain the Communications History window. When you start a controlling session, you will see a blue bar window down at the bottom of the scope. This is the Communications History window, or COM History window. As commands are given and received to and from the aircraft and controllers, you'll see text transcriptions of the transmissions show up here. In order for text to appear in the COM history window, the frequency must be active in the COM panel window as described in Lesson 3C. So if you don't see any text on the frequency you are controlling, make sure to click the button for that frequency in the COM panel window. I'll demonstrate a spoken command so you can see how it shows up in the window. In order to communicate to an airplane pilot, we have to say his call sign and give him commands. We can experiment with saying his call sign, in this case American 1332. The way you do a command is to hold down the control button which is the lower left or right corner of your keyboard. This is the push to talk switch. As long as you're holding it down, you will notice the lights on the comm panel. I'll just press it now. See how it is showing up with two little green lights that means I'm transmitting. It puts a line here in the comm history. I'll say the call sign now so you'll see that it is recognized. American 1332. This is a good way to test that your mic and speakers are working correctly and you are getting basic speech recognition. You can say a call sign in any command as a test, such as American 1332, say speed. The lines of text scroll down to be out of the way, and if you need to look up what was said, you can click inside the comm window and roll the mouse wheel, or use the scroll bar. For the sake of clarity, only the most recent commands are saved. I will unpause now and give the command so you can hear the readback. 185185, American 1332, say speed. 195, American 1332. To close the window panel, click the X in the upper right corner. To open it again, click the icon on the panel here. You can resize this window by clicking and dragging the arrows that appear around the edges and left click to drag and move anywhere on the scope. That's all for now on the communications history window. The next lesson, 3E, will describe the information display window.